Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am in a little bit of a different setup here. I'm in my bathroom. I'm gonna do um, a get ready with me video and I don't really have anything like specifically planned to be honest, but I need to do my makeup and I need to get ready for other videos that I'm going to make. I'm going to be doing some more an oil a day videos and things like that. And I just thought, you know what? Why don't I just talk and hang out with you guys and just like talk i don't know i have some mascara on but i have nothing else on my face like five minutes before i went to go pick up my daughter from school they had a half day today her and her cousins had a half day today at school my sister texted me like five minutes before i was supposed to leave for um pickup she was like hey we're going to chick-fil-a after this do you want to do you want to meet me and i was like well yeah but like i'm not ready for that like i just had just gotten out of the shower not that long ago i was just planning on coming back home after we i picked her up i was just gonna get my my face on and I was going to do some videos then and it just didn't end up happening that way. I'm holding things. I, I like, I like can't, <laughs> I have problems. All right. So I'm just going to get, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to start with my beauty blender. I have not washed my beauty blender. It's dirty. Don't judge me. I use this one for my face and this one for my concealer. So I'm going to get both of these wet and then I'm going to start putting makeup on my face. So now that my beauty blenders are wet, I like basically just like wring out all of the extra water and I take a towel and I kind of squeeze, squeeze through them again just to get extra water out. I'm gonna start with primer. Right now I'm using Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. It's blur and smooth and it's number 100. I have just recently started using primers to be honest, like in the last like year. I think it's working well. I don't really know, probably, but I don't know. I do really wanna try Smashbox. They have a primer out right now. I guess it's a really good primer. I think I wanna try that next, to be honest. I'm also gonna use, it's the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. My number is 128, it's called Warm Nude. I made a video about this, um, look at how dirty it is oh my gosh don't judge me i made a video about this foundation a while ago i can't say i love it but um i really like it so i don't really know what that means i'm interested in trying smashbox i there's been a review a few reviews that i've seen lately of smashbox's full coverage um foundation that seems to be amazing and I'm intrigued. So I think I'm gonna try that soon. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to review the Smashbox um, face primer and also the foundation. All right, so right now I'm using Catrice, that's what it is, um, Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer by Catrice Cosmetics. It lasts 12 hours, almost completely out. Like I can see the bottom of the glass, which is like, no bueno. But there is a concealer that Tati has recommended. I love Tati, you guys. Like she, I like swear by her with beauty stuff. I trust her opinion. Tati recommended this one called like Boeing. Boeing? I don't know if that's how you, Bo Boeing? It's like Boeing, but like Boeing. So I forgot to tell you what I was doing on my eyes right now. So let me show you. I'm doing the Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. It's my absolute favorite. The last bottle that I bought, it was anti-aging and it was not the same formula. My eyeshadow creased every time, but this does not crease my eyeshadow ever. All right, so now I go into eyeshadow. And, oh, no, powder. I almost forgot the powder. Oh, so I've been, I've been using Cody Airspun. If you guys have powder recommendations or any recommendations of your makeup, if there's something that you like swear by, let me know in the comments below. I am using the Rimmel London eyebrow pencil and on the end of it it has this really cool little brush guy on the lid i love it and i'm not really big on like drawing my eyebrows in i just take my eyebrow pencil and i literally just like draw on the brush and then i take the brush and i apply the pencil on my eyebrows like this because it kind of just like colors my eyebrows without it being a, sh a harsh like eyebrow pencil line hi cadence what you doing? Just coming in here. Coming in here to say hi? Mm -hmm. You wanna say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi. So right now I'm using Milani. I'm using this, I don't know if you can see it, the Milani palette. It's the number two palette. It's called Bare Necessities, Everyday Eyes. So what are you guys really into right now? Like as far as makeup is concerned, are there any like amazing trends right now or anything that you like really love 
doing with your makeup. Okay, so I just did this shimmery one on the base, on the whole entire like base of the eyelid. And then I did this one for the lower lid and then the crease. I do a tiny bit of contouring, but you guys, like I am so not contour master at all. But I do take bronzer, which is like so, this is all gonna be like so wrong. All of you guys are gonna be like, gasp. This is blasphemy. But this is what I do. It has to be simple. I'm a mama, I'm tired. I want to look put together, but like ain't nobody got time. If I do someday, then that'll be the day that I do it and cool. However, today is not the day. I have a contour palette that I even bought a while ago. I have not used it. It's like an art form to me. The contouring is, it is. The makeup is, as a whole. It is an art form, but contouring is a different level. It's like the advanced art class that I'm like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video of me practicing contour or like learning how to do it or something. I could totally do that. But it's not a part of my routine right now. I don't know if it ever will be. So anyways, that's how I feel about contouring. But I take a little bit of bronzer. This is my highlighting palette from Milani and it's the rose gold one. It's not even a bronzer, it's a highlighter. I take the rose gold one, the darkest one, and I just apply it to my nose. So I contour my nose, but that's about it. And I just lightly, I don't even take a lot. I literally just take a tiny bit. Like I don't want it to be obvious, obviously. Some days I do it heavier than others, but most days I just do a little bit. Then I take my highlighting brush. I take the lightest, like pearl. Yeah, the pearl highlighting one, this one. You can tell I use this one the most. I use that for my like basic highlighter. So I just do it down my nose. And right here. I've already done my mascara. Um, I'm gonna go over it a little bit more. Sometimes I add eyeliner, it depends on the event that I'm doing, it depends on the day. Oh, hi. Look at Cadence's makeup. Wow, you look fancy. Okay, well that's it, you guys. I literally um, am done. So the only thing that I'm like missing right now is something on my lips. And what I typically just wear is chapstick or lip gloss. All right, now that my makeup's all done, oh, I guess I am missing something. This is Pixie Skin Treats Makeup Fixing Mist. It smells really good. Can you use it on me? Mm -hmm. You want some? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready? Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. And then it just dries. And it's supposed to like set everything on your face so that it doesn't move. Seal it all kind of in. You know, this was fun. I didn't really have a ton to say other than I just kind of wanted to just hang with you guys and chat a little bit. I will leave a link to my Maybelline um, Superstay foundation video. Oh, my mascara, I did not tell you what it was. I use Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. It is my all time favorite mascara. It is truly the best mascara that I have ever, ever, ever had. If you want to know more about um, Lash Paradise, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely make a separate video um, on this stuff. Well, that was fun. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked this video. Click that notification bell. It lets you know when I make a new video. I post a video every Friday and I post an oil a day video every Monday. So stay tuned, more fun things to come. I will see you guys next week. Bye.